I was talking about my cauliflower ear, dude. Oh, you got Wait. cauliflower ear? <laughs> yeah, I got cauliflower ear. Oh, Jacob, we're going to need pics of this. That's fantastic. I know Cooper would love this. <laughs> I'm, nice, I love it too, dude. <laughs> nice and deformed, Ugh. disheveled. Dude, and I've got this thing on my eye too. <laughs> 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 so it goes really well with the cauliflower ear. God damn, like, Jacob! You gotta you gotta take a couple showers every <laughs> once in a while. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, dude. Uh, what doesn't kill you only makes you stronger. What doesn't kill you only makes your infected. face uh, your face more and more deformed. Uh, okay, hold hold on real quick though, Cooper. Are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye bye. I'll stop. I'll stop eating. No, I mean you can if you gotta eat before you go to your thing. Like eat. I just I was suggesting. <laughs> I heard a clink of John. John. Yes. I have, to do, I have to do my laundry. Is that okay? That's you know. I mean, Fuck does it matter you. what if it's okay or not? You know what I mean? Like you're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Like, and you're still not on your computer, Jacob. We can see uh. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so Jacob, your week is going pretty terrible. How's yours, Cooper? Really good. Um started work at cauliflower the- here? <laughs> no, actually. Um started work at the bird store. Um, oh yeah, how's that? Yeah, what's that like? Um well we get like one customer every hour and a half. And it's, <laughs> it's always like a ninety year old man or woman. Um <laughs> They, we, uh, I was really good at, um, at getting, all, loading all the bird seed into the store. They were very impressed with I that. Bet. So, um, <laughs> that's kind of why I'm there. Um, <laughs> like, I can uh, bench eight bags of bird seed. <laughs> it's pretty much exactly what you would expect. Oh, what is that? What? Oh my God. Jacob, are you actually, uh, <laughs> it's like the, it's like a, a Washing machine from the 1920s, the way it's creaking. Yeah, dude. Dude, I, I got I got in trouble. Like, I took my girlfriend out to like a, a fucking nice date last night. Mm-hmm. And I got in trouble. She got upset at me because I said her friend sounded like a bad person. Because she uh, didn't want to drive her BMW to school, so she drove her parents' Volvo because she didn't want to get judged for having a BMW. And then she's also sleeping with a longtime friend, family friend, an 18-year-old kid. Whoa. Yeah, Good for dude. him. Good for him. Right? <laughs> and I was like, she was like, is that weird? And I was like, I don't know. Like, if I was sleep, like, if she's my age, right? And she's like, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. I mean, do you think me sleeping with an 18-year-old is weird? And she was like, Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're we're out of that price range. Um, Cooper, Cooper are you you're using a headset? Yeah. Huh. How do I sound? I can just hear myself and you. Oh, that. Thank you, John. I I see myself in you as well. No, 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 no. <laughs> you're not reading this. I like how Jacob mm-hmm. muted his mic because <laughs> yeah. he's actually doing laundry right now. <laughs> so going back to that conversation, though, we were we were talking about this the other week. Um. And it's pretty badass if you're like a kid and you're a, a boy and you're like in middle school or elementary school and you bang the teacher. Like, that's fucking awesome, right? I mean, okay. So, like, yes. And, like, I, I mean, from a dude's perspective, yeah. Mm hmm. Right. But it's like, the thing is, is that, so, like, a, recently, like, a, a pretty attractive, conventionally attractive. All right, Cooper, you're going to have to work on this feedback thing. It's wildly. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's your mic, not mine. No, I can see the re- reverb. All right, so you're not talking right now, but if you look at your icon in Discord, you can see it activate. You see Do you think it? it's you know my I mean? f- my fan? Maybe no, I, I think they're so using headphones. Yeah. I don't think it's going through the headphones. I think it's going through your speakers, dude. No, try it again. All right. I still see. You, you, can you see it? You can see it on your screen. Sometimes. Here. Oh, Jacob just I, left. No, no, no. Now it's working great. Okay. So it was Jacob. Yeah, somehow Jacob is a uh, oh, Christ. Oh, I'm back. back. I'm back. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. And Jacob, you're clearly in a very echoey laundry room. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm done with laundry for now. 
just give me like 30 minutes and then I'll be back. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I'll be back to doing laundry. Yeah. But yeah, no, cool. I mean, so, like, it, it's so cool if you're 18 and you're banging uh, it's a 20 year old or 23 year old, you know, like, mm-hmm. I mean, if, if you're a dude, no, but if but you I, reverse it, it's, it's a double, it's one of those double standard things. If you reverse yeah. it, it's not good. I completely agree. But what I'm saying is it's also cool if you're like eight and you're banging a 23 year old. Ah, dude, no, eight <laughs> too young. See, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of with Cooper on this one. Right? I mean, that's no, bad. No, guys, you get you guys go you get look up eight year old's voice, and when you hear it, you're gonna be like, nope, that's that's too young. <laughs> no, the kid he slays. does not. <laughs> kid slays. Yeah. I mean, at, I, I think it's like at 13, it starts to be more of like a broy, like yeah, you fucked uh, Miss Newman. What up? Oh, <laughs> that would be awesome. That, that would be legendary. She was really <laughs> hot. She had going on in the conventional set sense. Yes. Yeah, dude. She was do you clearly. Think, do you think she ever banged a, a student? No, dude. God, I don't want to fuck so, students because I'd be so jealous. An <laughs> elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, why not me? Why couldn't it have been me? <laughs> right. I mean, Mr. Forrester was laying her pipe pretty, or laying oh, yeah. her pipe pretty heavy. <laughs> For sure. Or yeah. Correctly. Well, they were yeah. engaged. Yeah. Uh-huh. Didn't they break it off or something? I think so. Yeah. I don't think they got oh, married. Yeah, no, yeah, I okay. don't think they got married. I want to hear some drama, though. Oh. Sure, Jacob. So when, when they were broken up, I went to one of Miss Newman's... Uh, she had, like, her lacrosse games or whatever. And I went to one of those, you know, trying to get in her pants. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and Mr. Forster was there with flowers for after the game. And they were broken Whoa. up, too. I remember that. So I was like, oh, oh they moved, dude. Mr. Forster. You should have been like a fucking loser. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this cock over here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally getting cocked. But yeah, Why no. Me? Other than Great that. <laughs> Great radio, guys. Yeah. yeah this is good. Yeah. This is good. But no, the, the weird thing about my girlfriend getting mad at me was like, I in the morning, I just fucking apologized. Even though like, she described him to be like a horrible person, Wait, and what like she get mad at you about. So like, yeah, I, I guess this is part of the conversation. Up. Like, yeah. so um, <laughs> her, she like was telling me about like her best friend for the past three years, and like basically she uh, she was saying like, yeah, is it weird that she's she's like twenty two, and she's dating an eighteen year old who's like a long time family friend, and like they've known each other for a long time. Oh, like, I mean, okay. It's net like, in my opinion, like. I, I stick by the old rule of half your age plus seven, and she, eighteen is not in her age range. Right, with that rule. Mm, so I mean, well, it's a li- it's a little weird, but it's yeah, not it awful. Yeah, it is. And then she was like, "Oh yeah, like my." She also didn't want to get judged for driving her Mercedes Benz to school, like to her college. So she drove her parents' Volvo SUV instead. And I'm like, "That's just." I have that kind of money. I'm fucking driving my Benz. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like you can fake being poor, especially not in a Volvo SUV. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's like, still it's a still... very nice vehicle. Yeah, and I was just like, I mean, it, like if you got it, fucking flaunt it and be proud of it. Don't like hide and act like you are poor. Right. At least you know what I mean. It. Yeah, I mean, because because we grew up around all of those guys. Yeah. That are, like super fucking rich and they were i mean they were all dicks and like didn't like most of them but at the same time it's like i would much rather them be like yeah i'm driving my fucking brand new mustang my parents got me than like being ashamed of it yeah but i i, I was like you know and she was like man i really made this girl not to sound like it'd be a bad person and i was kind of like yeah man like i mean she she's not exactly batting a thousand from where i'm sitting yeah <laughs> <laughs> And she's then in the morning, she was like, I like it really hurt me, like what you said about my friend. And because like she is a really good person, she's the only person in my life who like treats me well and like is there for me. And I was damn, like, John. And yeah. I don't know. And I was literally, like, what did you say about her? Dude, I didn't, I literally, I what does that say about you? I, dude, I know that's what I, I mean, that's what I was thinking. But and then I was like, well, you didn't really give me a whole lot to go on. But at the same time, I just said, you know what, this is not worth the fight. Yeah, you're right. I'm wrong. And so I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really sorry. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was I just literally said I'm sorry I offended her. I I could she's probably a great person just judging by her friendship from you and I can't wait to meet her someday even though I'm like, man, I really hope I never 
suffer <laughs> through meeting this girl. <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, if someone says something shitty about one of you guys, if, like, or, like, Trip or something, like, I mean, Trip is a borderline racist and definitely homophobic. <laughs> and, like, 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 there's no hiding that. But if someone, like, was shitty to them, it's, like, if, he, if they were, like, yeah, Trip's a fucking homophobic piece of shit, I'll be, like, yep. Yep. Still yeah, you, you got me there. <laughs> Call it, like, he's, like, oh, like, he uses dad's money. I'll be, like, yep. Oh, yeah, 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 he does. Dude upgraded his truck because you were giving him so much shit when he had a nice <laughs> truck to begin with. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'd just be like, okay, but that's fine. I don't know. Yeah. So I was just, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not choosing to engage. And then she was like, yeah, I'm sorry if that was like I came off like really mean. And I was like, it's not mean. It is kind of like, yo, fuck you, because I guess we're not friends, but it's fine. You don't need to be friends with your girlfriend. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh okay so, <laughs> sounds like a all right, all right. yeah no it's, it's a healthy relationship <laughs> you know lots of life in there <laughs> speaking of healthy relationships how's your one going jacob uh, don't you know, worry it's... at some point we're going to talk about the hobbit <laughs> <laughs> oh you know it's going great you know um <laughs> so Sometimes we talk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's uh, I'm usually just uh, yeah. I'm usually just in my lab, you know, jerking off in your lab. <laughs> Dude, I could. Yeah, I mean, I bet you could. <laughs> you do. It's, it's, it's just me and the fucking dust <laughs> and my locking in and my dried up splooch all yeah. over the place. <laughs> I think that I think that pretty much sums up my relationship for you. Oh, that's 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 touching. And Cooper, yeah. how about you? Are you sliding <laughs> in any DMs? Not really. I'm just uh, you know, working out. Yeah, pl- pl- plowing anyone that comes into the <laughs> <Yeah>. CrossFit gym. <laughs> Completely against the coach's rule of ethics. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Something oh, like that. Man. I don't know. So 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 who are you coaching today, Cooper? Um. So I'm going to the other gym and I'm coaching some some newbies. So it's the foundations class. Um, they don't know. They're like uh, trying to be. Here's how to pick this thing okay, up I and can't. put it down, and uh, then like just do this, like and pick that up and put it down. Okay. Well, <laughs> you say that, but trust me, you go in there and you if you don't know how to do a hang power clean the first time, it's like what the fuck. Like you'd be amazed how ridiculous some of these movements look oh dude yeah that's kind of a hard thing though if you've never done it before right especially the olympic lifting but really can we go back to shitting on it like a second ago (laughs) (laughs) yeah no it's really stupid we encourage um jerking twisting movements um anything that can get you injured yeah there we go perfect perfect Perfect. the most important thing is not to stretch that yeah Yeah. load up the risk of tears load up the weight because all 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 warming up does is like break down your muscles more and you don't want that you want to be fresh so you go and straight to your max (laughs) yeah yeah oh fuck dude you know what i realized just when we were talking about um intercourse or not intercourse <laughs> relationships there's no sex scene in all of um everything i've read by J.R. tolkien well um there is actually one. Oh yeah yeah Did i miss one jacob can tell you about it actually <laughs> <laughs> yeah um there's a touching i haven't scene. actually i haven't actually witnessed this scene myself there's a touching I've heard, <laughs> I've heard from reliable sources that there is a scene where <laughs> Frodo and Sam get really, really close. If you know what I mean, John. <laughs> they had a little bit too much red wine. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's by the lake, and you know. Yeah, if I recall, it was in the. It was in uh, when they're staying with the elves. In the waterfall. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh God. And honestly, and honestly, it's not. Who, it's not gay. It's turf rape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's prison Sam. Rape. Sam was clearly pitching. Uh, I mean, definitely, dude. He's got a lot of power. He's more stock, you know. Well, I, mean? I, don't, I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, yeah, because Frodo is wearing the ring. <laughs> <laughs> right, wearing a ring. Wearing a ring is kind of gay. That's yeah. true. <laughs> That's true. 
So speaking of the ring, getting back yeah. to actual <laughs> Hobbit stuff. So today we read, or for today we were supposed to have read Jacob. <laughs> Actually, I, Cooper. Cooper is the one that. The I, last time. No, no, no. That's that's bullshit. Because I know Jacob did not read, and I did. Read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you well, guys who, all read Riddles in the Dark, correct? Yeah, why? Of course, yeah. What a good chapter. It yeah. is a good chapter. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you disagree, Cooper. <laughs> I mean, it's not like that much better or worse than any other chapter. I don't know. I like how it like I I, I like the Bilbo solo chapters. Why? Because like I think more gets done. Like I think whenever mm. like he's with like the Dorbs and Gandalf, it's kind of like a whole lot of fucking explaining. Yeah, and kind of a whole lot of Gandalf doing everything. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But like when Bilbo's on his own, like in Mirkwood and um, here, and then later on, like um, with Smaug and stuff like that, it uh, it, it just I don't know. I like it better. Um, yeah, I kind of see what you mean, actually. Like it, it, it feels like that's the plot, and everything yeah. else is kind of backstory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Um, and not to mention, like I love the Riddle game. Like, I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, yeah. I like how Golem just kind of, like, lets that happen. You know what I'm saying? Golem's, like, into the riddle game. Like, he'll play. Mm-hmm. He's just like, fuck it. Yeah, let's do it. Well, and yeah. then another thing that's super weird is, like, there's, like, an ancient law of riddle games that they, like, don't go over. Right. They're like, right. oh, well, this isn't a riddle game according to the... This isn't technically a riddle due to, the like, the ancient rules. And yeah. like, oh, he's bound by the ancient rules to fucking show me all of this shit. But what's cool about this chapter is that this chapter was completely, um, or not completely, but largely rewritten after the Lord of the Rings. So he went back, and if you get a copy of The Hobbit before the Lord of the Rings came out, and after the Lord of the Rings came out, there's like a bunch of differences. Like what? Oh, I'm sure. The main one being that... Um, Golem offers to give Bilbo the ring. Oh, really? In the first one, and not a way out. Whoa. How how did that happen? Well, because he wasn't, like... The Rings of Power kind of came... It's like, going back to all that shit, the Rings of Power came into effect, like, after... Like, he thought that up after the Lord of the Rings. So, like, he had, like, the whole universe kind of set out and where he wanted to take things, but, like, Sauron wasn't a fucking thing in The Hobbit until he was like, oh, I need to make Lord of the Rings a thing. Like, the necromancer guy, who we know is Sauron from, like, ties and all this shit. And, like, they rewrote it to make him more pronounced to be Sauron. Um, They did that after the fucking um, Fellowship of the Ring came out. Mm. All because he realized, like, this is, like, because his publisher said, he's like, people want to see more about Hobbits. So make this about hobbits because he originally tried to get um, the Similian post or published before, and the publisher read it or read over it, and he was like, "This is fucking crazy bullshit that no one's gonna give a fuck about." <laughs> like, Clearly, like there's like, Dude, uh, like no, crack. Yeah, yeah, like really. straight up, he's like, "I don't know what kind of tobacco weed you were smoking, but it probably wasn't anything good." <laughs> and um, yeah. then he's like, "Go back. We kids want to read about hobbits. Hobbits are what sells." And so he goes, and he's like, "Okay, and sex. I have to come. yeah, <laughs> hobbits and sex." So he added Frodo <laughs> and Sam, <laughs> the two lustiest boys in the Shire. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, and it's so. Um, and then he went back and added all that stuff. He added like the Ring of Power because, like. Judging from like the way Bilbo treats the ring, everyone treats the ring, and like how it corrupts people in the Fellowship and forward, they like it would make no sense for Golan to be like, "Yeah, you can take my ring. That's fucking is the most yeah. precious thing in the entire world to me, yeah. and all this stuff." Although, doesn't the ring kind of have like a mind of its own? Like, I could see the ring like convincing Golem to try to give it up. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, I mean, there's there's that kind of element to it, but like. Even I, I mean, it's it, it's iffy because it's like that's right. never really it never really is explicitly stated. It's just kind of like, oh, it right. wants to go back, and like yeah. they could have made Golem go back. Like he leaves his cave. Yeah, um, yeah. You know what? Now I'm thinking about it. Why doesn't? Yeah. Hmm. 
I feel like Gollum is just kind of a better ring bearer than like you know Bilbo and Frodo. You know, <laughs> I like mean, in so a much, lot of ways, so yeah. More, he likes so it more. more. He's so much more devoted. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. he commits to it more. Um, yeah, it commits to him a little bit more. Yeah, and that's like also was... why, um, if you notice, like not to not to cut up like but he gets like his physical deformities in this in the hobbit like are lesser than they are in the lord of the rings or or are, are more i'm sorry not lesser oh uh, okay like he like he, like we have that picture that we showed and like that's what he's described as looking like in the fucking um hobbit but then in the lord of the rings he like has more of like the bigger hands and the bigger feet that are more hobbitish because afterwards he was like oh how cool would it be if fucking uh golem was actually a hobbit who got uh, super corrupted yeah yeah it is cool it was a good idea no it's yeah. a great idea but i'm kind of like is that that's kind of like cheating just going back and changing stuff you know that's yeah. sort of well i mean it's, it's a little shady a little it shady. is shady Tolkien's a shady guy yeah, yeah dude I, yeah. The more the more we learn about him, I mean, he's probably. <laughs> you know what? He's. I. I'm. I feel confident in saying that he's probably a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did he have? What were his connections to Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah. What's the real? <laughs> How many times did they fly on a private plane together? Right. 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 <laughs> Honestly, I, I weirdly wouldn't be fucking surprised if Christopher Tolkien has done that. Imagine he how much ca- money that guy has. He is Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, so, but yeah, no, a lot of lot of fun stuff. I think I think the riddles here are kind of good, but they're a little obvious. Um, like I like the obvious. fish one. The fi- because they they like get them and like like you know the fish like in the riddles in the dark. Like the riddles he reads, like there's like a fish one, there's like a wind one. Uh huh. They're really you know good at riddles. Yeah. Do you know what I find interesting when I'm thinking about it? Mm, like what? you could kind of make a riddle as hard as you wanted. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like you could. Yeah. Like you could like really make it really hard, and then in this kind of game, the other person will lose. You know, you can make it something so obscure, and if the riddle is just poorly worded, <laughs> then it's gonna be really hard for the other person to guess it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And then, so you could just make something that, you know, that's, like, technically fair, but you just did a really shitty job of saying the riddle, so the other person just can't guess it. Do you know what right, I mean? Right, like, you're like, describing <laughs> something incredibly specific. <laughs> yeah, like, and, like, and, and you're doing a bad job of describing it. <laughs> right, like a, like a single species in the Amazon rainforest that no yeah. one would ever know but you, because you read the book on it, like. Yeah, yeah, and then on top of that, you just don't do a good job explaining it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, what is green, what is green, climb a tree. <laughs> yeah, man. I mean, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> like, what is that? Like, I, don't I don't fucking know. Is it grass? <laughs> yeah. No, it's the leaves, you idiot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Change the answer too. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It gets super vague. I mean, I guess that kind of goes into those like ancient laws so of riddles what, that they so never before explain. We, before we read our riddles, what are the ancient laws? Mm-hmm. There's no. They never talk about them. Not even in the Similarion. No, because I mean, it never comes <laughs> up again. <laughs> There, the ancient laws are there are no ancient laws. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the whoa. first ancient like law that. of Riddle Club. Don't talk about <laughs> fucking the yeah. first ancient law of Riddle Club. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, it's um, yeah, it's it's weird. Um, it, because like, and you would think for something so imperative that he's like bound by an oath to go yeah. over it. And I honestly can probably do more research. And maybe there's like in. In English history, there's like rules that riddles have to follow, which I don't think is true. Uh, but I mean, you know maybe what, you know what we could do. I mean, I think we could just leave it up to Cooper. What, what do you think, Cooper? What are the um, <laughs> yeah, tell us, Coop. Yeah. You're well, the smartest guy we know. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it goes back to English laws, I think <laughs> I think that, <laughs> that most English people are a little bit queer. So, <laughs> My dad's not bent. <laughs> My dad's not bent. <laughs> but let's be honest, he is though. <laughs> um, I don't know. So in terms of the laws, like, you know, mm, let me think. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> the laws of the riddles are just don't be. Just, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. I think that sums it up really well. You you know? Don't be. (sighs) (laughs) Yeah. You know? Just don't be a cock. Like, just don't be, like, really weirdly specific and. Don't right. don't say don't change the answer. Don't cheat. Um, just be fair, you know. Cooper. And I think that's why the fucking whole what's it what's in my pocket thing. Yeah. Is so right. fucking barbaric. He just cheats. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He could. See, that's up. clearly yeah. That's clearly cheating. You know. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like uh, twenty questions. The game. You know. Yeah. It's I don't know. It's <laughs> somehow. It, but, oh, but only three. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, here's the deal with twenty questions. <clears throat> The first person who goes, it's really fun, and then everybody ends up hating you after the first round, and then no one wants to play anymore. <laughs> I mean, I think 20 questions just in general fucking sucks. I, dude, I love 20 questions. <laughs> Gravel. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, it's sand. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you want to you want to get into our riddle me this section? Sure. Or segment, sure. I guess. Wow, you even have a name for it. Uh, yeah, dude, I, th- I think that I think that works really well. Riddle me this. Yeah. How All about right. riddle? <laughs> <laughs> this All segment's right. called riddle. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me just pull up riddles.com. Uh, I I mean, did you? Yeah. Is this is this internet sourced? I'm on riddles.com. Oh god. <laughs> all right no, yeah all right coop you can go first because you know you're the riddle expert all right here's a good riddle for you <laughs> all right <laughs> here's here's the riddle <clears throat> the riddle is jacob's sexuality dude that, that is not a riddle <laughs> dude we all know jacob's non-binary but leans towards dudes <laughs> yes yes please coop be sensitive to my Sexuality. How uh, dare you, Cooper? Right. Honestly. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know, if we were playing, yeah. if this was in the, in this we're scenario, in the wrestling gym. <laughs> yeah, we're in the wrestling gym. And you know, I yeah. got some cauliflower for your ear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what has a head? A tail is brown. And has no legs. A penny. Oh, god damn it. Damn. You what? <laughs> You're really you guys, good. You guys coordinate. Are you on that? riddles.com? <laughs> I am not on riddles.com. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like you definitely got that one online, Cooper. Yeah, I mean it's so it's so easy. Cooper, why even lie to us like that and say claim that you came up with it on your own? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I told you guys. <laughs> All right, All right, you guys, J- yeah, you Jacob, guys have Jacob. some riddles. And yeah, I'll you you have the next one. Yeah. Uh, okay. Because you, you allegedly, according to your text that I'm reading word for word, you already know I got mad riddles. <laughs> uh, and quote. Okay, yeah. so I'm really busy, so um, <laughs> I was thinking of my riddles, and, you know, I just went to what I know best, okay? <laughs> Cauliflower ear. So, <laughs> so yeah. what has... What has a differential input? Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> I, I cannot <laughs> believe you're these, doing these, this. These go against the riddle a, rule. A <laughs> yeah, Jacob. A bandwidth of two hertz to one hundred kilohertz, detection as low as five hundred nanovolts, and dude, this and, such a faggot. I hate and, it. And <laughs> and a phase sensitive detector. What is it? I don't know, dude. Some science <laughs> shit. Like yeah, it's, the, it's, it's, the Princeton, it's the Princeton Applied Research Model 124A lock and amplifier. That's not a riddle. That's just like a science <laughs> uh, question. You know, I I, sh- I should have actually gotten that because you told yeah, you, me about this model like, and amplifier. I have. Yes. Yeah, so I just don't listen to the things that you say. Like, <laughs> my problem. I can't. I, are those honestly the riddles you guys came up with? No, yeah, well, yeah. Tom, I, I was. You good, I, I oh, was do you want to hear mine? Because it's gonna blow yeah. your alls out the water. Yeah, right. it's here, John. Well, I was right. joking, just so you know. <laughs> okay, Coop. Go go on riddles.com and search a little harder. All right. Um. Okay, so this is a, a what am I riddle? Um. If you lose me once, I come back stronger. If you lose me twice, I'm gone forever. What am I? Your virginity. No, but. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, wait, can you say that one more time, John? Yeah. So so if you it, lose uh, me so I once, I c- <laughs> better not be googling it. Because <laughs> I definitely thought this up originally. All right, okay. all right. Yeah, I'll be fair. I mean, I'm gonna hear your guys' keyboards go. Whatever. <laughs> if you lose me once, I come back, str- or I come back stronger. If you lose me twice, I'm gone forever. Um, let's see. Or I guess you could say I'm yours no longer. If you if, what what? Okay, so Jacob. What can you lose once and comes back stronger? Um, you lose. If it. I was, if I was a gecko, I would say my tail. Right, but a gecko so can lose its tail is... more than one time, or more no. than two times. No. Oh, oh, true. no! I was gonna say a bee stinger, but no. Yeah, that they die. Make any sense at all? I'll give you a hint. We've yeah. all experienced this. You lose um, me once. Shit, I lost my... You lose me twice. I'm yours no longer. I'm yours no longer. Hmm. Uh, you guys are going to be so upset when you don't get it. Yeah, let me think about this for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And, and let's also give our listeners some time to... You know, <laughs> yeah. my brain, my all brain right, listener. Quick, all right, all right, listen. Especially <laughs> if you're li- live tweet us and yeah. uh, tell you what you think. <laughs> Dylan, uh-huh. if you can come up with this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I, actually, hmm. Esther Kim listened to our whole first episode. She really liked it. That's so wow, upsetting, really? dude. That's I told I her. I can't believe Esther Kim is a liar. <laughs> I told her. No, she really did. She really did. She was texting me about the stuff, and did she you was like saying, quiz her on it. She was like yeah. texting me about everything in the. It, she she read it, and she really did, or she listened to it, and she was sitting next to Braden Holpe, who is the Capitals, um, uh, goalie, and I was like, well. I, you should get the Capitals to listen to our podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our mic be- quality is garbage, but I mean, I guess. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So you lose me once, you come back stronger. You um, lose me twice, I'm yours no longer. And it rhymes. Ah, Good that's job. so hard. Wow. This is a real <laughs> riddle. Not, nah, dude. You guys are going to be so upset. And we've all experienced this. A frying How cat. many times have I experienced this? Yeah. I mean,. Uh, I would say a good portion of like I mean every every almost every living creature has experienced this. What the fuck? Um, hmm. you lose your sense of self worth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, hmm. it's got to be say... something like that. It's not. It's not a physical object. That's yeah. wrong. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's a physical <laughs> object. <laughs> is it? Is it poop? Is no? it shit? Is it shit? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, is it, uh... These answers are shit, though. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what our mind goes to. Oh, what could it be? Um, oh, you guys are gonna be so upset. At I know. I fifteen. I'm calling it. You guys got okay. three more minutes. Your flashlight. <laughs> Your flashlight. <laughs> It came back stronger. <laughs> <laughs> Comes back stronger. Your what keys? Do I don't know, man. Um. It's something that every living creature does. So nearly like, every there's like a few select creatures that never experience this because they're highly specialized. But um, almost everything goes through. And it's this. a physical. Well, there's not a single physical object in the world that that I have that a fish has. You know, that's not. I mean, some fish have them, like tails. It's got to be a body part. No, you don't lose body parts, dude. Yeah, but how many body parts have you lost, Cooper? Hair, aside from your dick. No, <laughs> yeah, I lost. <laughs> uh, uh, not hair's hair. close. Yeah, something like that. Um, <laughs> uh, lose me teeth. Yeah, teeth. Teeth. Yeah. Teeth. 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 It's wow. teeth. That's wow. good. That Isn't good that good? Point. That was a that good one. Did you, did you actually come up with that? Uh huh. You bet you're. No, I didn't. <laughs> okay. So yeah. here's the problem with. So here's why. Here's why I don't like about your all's riddles. Okay. You didn't, they aren't original. Okay. And okay. Jacob. 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 <laughs> Yours was my, a my... fucking like a Princeton <laughs> flux capacitor doodah that no one has seen outside of you. My and first mine was, was actually quite original. obvious. No. <laughs> <laughs> <Yours> is... <laughs> 
If you're um, a nuclear scientist, like <laughs> I think it fucking is super obvious. You, yeah. know? you don't even know what a Ronkin is, Jacob. A Ronkin? Yeah, you had to Google it. What belongs to you, but people <laughs> <laughs> Cooper's still a troll in riddles.com. Okay, this is a good one. <laughs> what belongs to you, but other people use it more than you? Uh my dick. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. no. <laughs> it's something like your smile. Cooper? Uh, it's, not, it's, it's not that, no. How about... Uh, yeah, let's get some hints here. Um, okay. <laughs> um, hint. Good hint. Well, that's a riddle in itself. Um, <laughs> 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 belongs to you. Um, uh, a hint would be it's not a physical object. Um, oh, your voice? Yeah, my voice. How would other people use your voice more than you? I'm a hit recording artist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, unless you're a singer. <laughs> unless you're doing what we're doing right now. Yeah. Which is the peak of creativity. The peak. It's not something gay like love, is it? No, it's oh, not. Love. It's not. It be, better not be love. That'd be if so it was gay. Love, I would turn off my phone and exit <laughs> this podcast right now. Dude, I hate love, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Every concept point? of love just doesn't. It's it's stupid. It's just a waste of time. Yeah. I mean, it's just yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> Let's all move to Montana together. Dude, I am. Really into that. Yeah, I'm really thinking about being a wildland firefighter this summer, too. <laughs> yeah, isn't that the ideal job? All right, back to the riddle. <laughs> <laughs> um, so other people use it more than you. It's not an object. Um, it's something... You guys are on the right, like, path. You guys have... Yeah, you know what? And I don't like the path I'm going down, honestly. No, I mean, it's... it's yeah, it's got to be something like, oh, your friendship, like... Right. Oh. It's got, oh. you know what I mean? Like, well, it's it's actually not not an abstract object though either. Or, okay, so it's not an object. It's not a physical object, but it's not an abstract concept either. It is like kind of a thing. Hmm. It's a thing, but not an object. If that makes sense. Like a, a favor. Oh, is it a, it's favor? a favor? It's not a favor. No. How would Favor's that belong? Fucking close. How would that belong to you? Because it's yours to give. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so it is along those lines, but no, it's not a favor. Well, I guess this is what I don't like about riddles. I think I got it right. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can you prove that my answer isn't right? This is the not thing the you answer don't like on about. riddles.com. <laughs> 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 like, how did Frodo or how did Bilbo and Golem work this out, you know? Right. There would be disagreements because, you know, they're pretty good sports, honestly, in the chapter. That's like they're I'm like saying, they're like yeah. fair game, sir. Whereas yeah. like <laughs> us right now, we're like, no, you fuck. Like yeah. that doesn't count. <laughs> and there's nothing at stake here. Yeah. Okay. What's the answer? Yeah, give yeah, us another yeah. hint. Okay, one no, more I hint. The answer. Uh, okay, one more hint. <laughs> um it's something that people use every single day, many, many, many times a day. I'm gonna go get go back to penis. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah, answer. Really. All right, your name. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I talk about myself in the third person a lot, so I kind of use my name. <laughs> right. Well, for us, not like yeah. multiple personality type. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mentally insane people. <laughs> yeah. Jacob, do you got a, do you got another one? Have you looked one up yet that you're a fan of? Uh, no, but I am cutting my toenails. For the <laughs> God scissors. damn it. Dude, I, I, scissors? Could, I couldn't find my toenail clippers. Wait, wait, um, you're cutting them with scissors? Yeah. Not a toe knife, Jacob? That that's sounds how, that's so That's how painful. long they are, dude. <laughs> dude, remember last week I was like, I gotta cut my fucking toes. I haven't done it. And, now it's pretty... <laughs> and I was in Target the other day, and I was unable to find any toenail clippers that's not true that you that was that was yeah you're right you were unable to find yeah, you 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 <laughs> like any if you asked for help anyone could have dude, why would i ask for help dude 
What? Because you got to cut your toenails, and you, that's how you get an ingrown toe. Hey, Dude, guys. I am, or a toenail. Can I share yeah. something that I've observed um, not, not living in college anymore? Yeah, um, yeah. of course, Cooper. That <laughs> we – and, and John, I'm, I'm going to throw you into this conversation as well because I think you're the same way. But definitely, Jacob, we can speak to this. We always bought the shittiest and cheapest thing possible in every scenario. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just about saving money. Yeah, yeah but I, I think more? we still do it, to be honest, and other people don't. No, I, I still do. I, I mean, I've, I got the nice mic. That's probably, like, the nicest thing I've gotten in a rather long time. I, don't I mean, know, like, John. I think you have a lot of nice stuff, John. Yeah, John. You like might what, be like Jacob? That. Like you have a nice mic, you oh, not your PC. You got a shitty computer. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. Don't you dare! You were about to say my computer, and then you're like, oh wait, never mind. I'm not. Guy compliment. Oh, speaking of computers, um, did you guys see that um, World of Warcraft Classic is now a game? Oh yeah, Jake. That's or, sick. Yes, Cooper. I just that's don't. I don't sick. have the time, dude. Yeah, me neither. But you yeah, know, you I mean, yeah, you do. Quit. You work at the bird store, but you can quit your job. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I can quit both of my jobs, and then I wouldn't have the time. Bro, I have two jobs too. I mean, you. But one of them's working at a bird store, and then the other one is a <laughs> fitness coach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not exactly keeping the hard nine to five. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's kind of cool, though, Coop. Coop's kind of yeah, like a freelance. I'm fucking hustling, bro. It's great. A freelance? It's yeah. like middle of the day. Boom, I have time in the middle of the day. Boom, let's fucking go. Yeah, let's do some let's raids. Fucking go, yeah. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm a gun for hire, bitch. Dude, we're yeah. going we're, we're gonna to come back next week, and then fucking Cooper's going to be like, yeah, so I'm level 20. Yeah, <laughs> like this is now Laura. This is now a fucking wow cast. Like yeah, eighty thousand of them. Yeah, my uh, my uh, points per second is really good on this new staff I just got. So yeah, uh, that's, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm a mage because they're OP. Yeah, um, especially in the original classic vanilla WoW. They um, actually were. They're super mm, OP. They're good. They're good. Shadow fucking warlock, dude. Shadow fucking priest. I mean. Shadow priest. Do you, do you want? Do you, do you want a guy? You guys want to hear another good riddle? This one's good. <laughs> okay. All right. It's gonna and, but this one's really, really hard. Okay. Um, I might come through your window. I'm often at a bar. Okay. Sometimes I'm used to send your kids to die in lands afar. Jacob. <laughs> Jacob. Uh... <laughs> He's at a bar. He comes through your windows. Yeah. Oh, Peter he Pan. Your children. Peter Pan. Yeah. Peter Pan. No, Peter Pan's not at a bar, dog. No, Peter Pan is. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he is. Uh, He's got is a serious drinking alcohol? problem. The Tooth Fairy. Jacob, you are you are close with alcohol. Really? NyQuil. Cody. <laughs> I would I would I would say it's like a thing. Uh, the bit the biggest giveaway. It's at a bar. It's alcohol related. It's not alcohol itself. Water. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> Water. <laughs> so confident. <laughs> Wait. So what? It climbs through the window. What the? Yeah, I, I can read. I can read. It doesn't climb. Yeah. I might come through your window. A rock. I'm often a rock. at a it's bar. A rock. It's a rock. <laughs> it's a rock that says "Die, Martin Luther King." <laughs> 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 but no, I'm. I might come through your window, and I'm often at a bar. Sometimes I'm used to send your kids to die in lands afar. War. Nope. <laughs> um. Shit. What can go through your window? Wait, is also Jacob eating now? No, <laughs> it's still <Okay>. Cooper. <laughs> yes. I, I, I do have to get my laundry. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is me eating. Um, <laughs> that's fine. What, what are you eating, Cooper? I uh, some chicken and rice. Of course. Wow. <laughs> How did so I know? So original. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a sweet potato later. Get crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I got it in the fridge right now. I just microwave them. It's great. Pop them in the microwave. Eight minutes. Boom. There we go. Boom. Boom. Bit of bang. Bit of bang. Boom. Bing. Bing. Bong. Wow. One hundred percent keto or what? No. Fuck keto. I'll kill anyone that says keto's nice. <laughs> keto's nice. <laughs> Cooper, Cooper, Cooper tried. Cooper tried keto for a little bit, and he got like really out of energy and yeah, yeah. like. Well, I combined. <laughs> you became like a ghost. I, I combined keto and intermittent fasting, and I just went way too far on both. Yeah, and, uh, dude. I, I couldn't and even you... talk. 
<laughs> right, you it became was, like you were like unable to function basically. I couldn't even like walk up the stairs. It was tough. <laughs> I remember you were like you were like I'm so tired. It was like noon. You were just like exhausted. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, don't... dude. I mean, it's a thing, man. You don't yeah. realize how fucking much energy carbs give you until you stop yeah. eating carbs. But you should, you should eat carbs because you're not a dumbass. No, I, yeah. In the in the in the, in the classic Cooper dietary r- rules is complex carbs in moderation. There you go. I've learned. Mm. I, I, I have stopped eating white rice. Everything I get is whole wheat now. Wait, so are you are you are you are you keto, John? I thought you were keto for a little bit. I mean, I I tried. No, I I was. I don't. I still maintain this. Um, I'm I'm a little bit better about it because it's not. It's no longer like the summer where I have. I because like in the summer, it's like I'm, I I want a fucking hamburger and French fries. But um, I I I just do low like try and low carb it. Yeah. Because, like, keto is fucking crazy. It's, like, less than 35 carbs a day. Right. But l- low carb is, like... Oh, Jacob, now your mic is the one that's coming in robotic. Boys? Uh-oh. Yeah, what's up? No, no, nothing. Okay, it's still working. I think Jacob disconnected. Hmm. He might be just doing his laundry. That's true. Oh, yep, his mic just went on mute. <laughs> Jacob, can you hear us? Type in the chat because I'll give you the answer to the riddle. It's actually really good. Um, I'm... are you back? Uh, yeah. Okay, so the answer to the riddle was draft. Oh, nice. So war was on the right path too. Yeah. Yeah. The, and like, and and that's what I kind of realized is like the best. The like really good riddles are built around things that like uh, I think they're called homonyms or whatever, like words um, or one words that have a different meaning. Onomatopoeias. No, that's um like action sounds like bam. Yeah. But um yeah, but they're built around like one word that has different meanings because then you can say like oh like here's the description. Yeah, um, like like fair. Yeah, exact, exactly. The fair man went to the fair. He had to pay a fare, which he thought was fair. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. A fair. No. Um, <laughs> Jacob, you, you're not Jacob, coming in at all, Jacob, bud. Jacob, just so you know, you sound like John sounded last week. Yeah. It's, and it's fucking pathetic, quite frankly. <laughs> like, now, pathetic. That I, now that I'm on the other side of it, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no um yeah I, I mean i just try and not eat a lot of carbs but i eat i mean because you just need that energy like i had a quesadilla today or two the okay, yeah a quesadilla and then that was made with whole whole wheat mm-hmm. uh tortillas and then a salad with that yeah yeah i mean that's perfect yeah that's what you what you gotta do and then tonight i'm gonna just eat chicken wings because you know because fuck it Oh, no, football. chicken chicken rings are uh, no. It's not college. I'm going to a Nats game tonight, dog. Oh, you are nice. Yeah, and like I'm, I'm we're gonna, I'm gonna meet up with my girlfriend, go to the bar because like I'm a good boyfriend who's been like my girlfriend had like a rough week because all of her friends and like family or not friends, but or all of her fam not not family, but all of her friends have like broken up with each other, and now they're starting to date each other too. Well, no, they were so that was like last year it was like oh. everyone was dating together. Like different people, like everyone was a couple because they're all on the rowing team, and they were all just like, "Okay, let's date." Mm. And now that they're now that they're broken up, like their entire friend group's shattered. Like it's fragmented super hard because like they still want to be friends with like the guys in the group, and the guys still want to be friends with the girls in the group, but the girls are more loyal to their friend that got hurt, mm-hmm. and all this. It just it just gets messy, and Dude. it's yeah. One thing that happens whenever people get together, whenever there's a group of people that see each other a lot, people start fucking, and then drama ensues. No yeah, matter dude. what, it's it. I mean, and in in hot take, here's here's my whole opinion on it. And this is this is it's very uh, it's not exactly PC, but um, sure, guys shouldn't really have girlfriends. Hmm. Like not girlfriends, but like female platonic friends. Yeah, that that's I, I see where you're coming. Like, from. like, and and I'm not saying it can't happen, but I'm saying there's 
very few situations where it doesn't turn into something more physical and slash or like you can only you can only maintain like two or three of those relationships right what are you guys talking about <laughs> we're talking we're talking because cooper was like if whenever like guys and girls big group of guys and girls get together like if they're bonding over like a club or something like that they see each other a lot they'll start fucking and then things will get nasty because feelings will get involved in all this shit and so what i said was that guys and girls like shouldn't be super platonic friends like like the guys and girls teams should be separated I mean, so semi like, to a like, certain like point. There should be like different restaurants for guys and girls. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I don't like different schools. Yeah, yeah, where like chicks can learn how to like sew and wear dresses and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys learn math and business. Yeah, you know. I mean, how else is the world like a feudalistic Japan is kind of what I'm seeing here. <laughs> so, just like, yeah. uh, are one of you guys running for president or something? I mean, I well, could. I could if I want. Actually, I don't think any of us can because we're not 35. True. Even though Cooper, your 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 gamer tag there is Cooper 35. Oh yeah, they might think that's my aim. <laughs> yeah. just, just, just submit that as your birth certificate. Like, yeah, this is my Discord name. <laughs> and they think you're zero. Yeah, they do. They're and like, they, think Jay- they, baby. Think Jay- they think Jacob's addicted to opium. <laughs> yeah. Fool them. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like, yep. Got him. Take another oxycodone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. Coop. What's up? Yeah, Coop. Your name is kind of like it's kind of boring. You know, your your gamer tag here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I no, just... you weren't. You weren't feeling very creative, huh? Just kind of like with your riddles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, I mean, oh. like that anyone was oh. so weak. So I thought bad. it was good. I thought it was good. Uh, <laughs> you got it before yeah. I finished. <laughs> Wait, there was more to it? No, but you just got it so quickly. Yeah, dude. I mean, it was so... That, that's Wait. like riddles for kids, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like the magic school bus of riddles. Yeah, yeah. Kids are so fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, we're like, we're talking about how dumb kids are for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like fucking don't know Bilbo. Any... Dude, Bilbo is a he's he's a dumbass. Like, you know, yeah. he's, he's a pussy. Like, just fucking sack up, man. Kill some elves. <laughs> just Maybe... sack him and fight Golem. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, you got a sword? He doesn't. Just chop him. Yeah. Did it's you guys watch the UFC it. fight that happened at six a.m. this morning? No. <laughs> the yeah, one in China or whatever. It. Yeah, dude. Apparently, There's also women fighting. So, eh. dude, I <laughs> love watching the girls scrap. <laughs> Really? Yeah, they, are, they are pretty good. You're into that? I mean, I'm not into it. I just think they, in a weird way, go. No, John, so that's cool, man. The guys, it's cool. You can be into it, John. Sorry. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, dude! Jessica and Dranch got fucking murdered. <laughs> so, is this podcast about Lord of the Rings? <laughs> hey, dude, we we spent a good twenty minutes <laughs> out of an hour going over Lord of the Rings stuff. Mainly, mainly the riddles. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, mainly the riddles. riddles. It was a lot. It was very riddle, riddle based. So, what if this wasn't a Lord of the Rings podcast anymore, but just like a life podcast? We're yeah. not. Cool, we're not cool enough to do a life podcast. I guys. feel like we are, dude. No, I we're not we though. Cool. But we're not though. We have good opinions. And we're no, really we do. But but, but really my thing is like we got to reel them in with the Lord of the Rings bullshit, mm-hmm. you know, and yeah. then we'll pretend like the, the life stuff on them. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. kind of like what we're like, doing right now. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's okay. I mean, cause that I mean, that's how Joe Rogan did it. He was like, "I'll reel him in with like the comedy stuff and then the UFC stuff, and then when he got into hunting, he did the hunting <laughs> stuff." Right. And then he was like, "Oh, let me also fucking." I guess Joe Rogan like has really good life advice. Yeah. Which I mean, I think he does. I mean, I think. Yeah. So. I, I mean, I so. do everything he says in his podcast, and when? now I have an eight pack. Yeah. We we were like talking about it. Well, no one was. I was talking about it to myself. And <laughs> and um, if Joe Rogan had like ulterior motives, or he was like an agent of the government or something, like how terrible would that be? Because I believe everything he says. 
That's true. I mean, what I what I will say is that if he wanted to push uh, a train of thought, like if all of a sudden he flipped his stance and he was like, "Cocaine should be legal," or like, "I'm a devout Catholic now," mm-hmm. there would be a, a lot more cocaine doing devout Catholics mm-hmm. because yeah, people... maybe. But at the same time, it's like you know. I feel like he always preaches, you know, thinking for yourself and that kind of thing. So yeah, but but but, but the be- the best thing that people that think for themselves do is copy other people that think for themselves, like Bruce Lee. Uh, I mean, even I mean, even if we want to bring it back to Tolkien and shit like that, like he was a pretty original, creative guy. But when you look at his work, he copied a lot of it, mm. or not copied, but he just made it his own, right. Uh, and, like, that's what you kind of have to do. You kind of have to take Joe Rogan's advice and make it your own. And, like, that's what people would do. And I, th- I think the best example is I wonder if there's, like, or I think there has to be some sort of statistical percentage of people that stop drinking during in the month of October. And I right. bet you that if you were a bar and you were keeping track of all of that you would see a decrease in October. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I almost guarantee it. Mm. Mm. But but you're not actually guaranteeing it. Yeah, I mean, because I don't almost. know anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm almost guaranteeing <laughs> You know, that's it's like it's like when you buy like a, a ticket off a sketchy website yeah. and they're like, that's really we not good almost enough. guarantee these seats. Yeah, <laughs> almost guaranteed yeah. to be the lowest price in town. <laughs> it's like uh, uh, after you pay our thirty five thousand dollar ticketing processing fee, even though it's wireless and we didn't do really anything but run a server. So sounds like you're complaining specifically about Live Nation. Mm-hmm. No, dude, I'm, I'm complaining about Nats tickets, man. Because oh. I'm going to the Nats game tonight, and get us get a scalper. Well, my well, that I mean, what I'm told is that the best thing to do is like to wait until like an hour or two before the game starts, or like during the first inning. Yeah, and then just go online, and you can find ones for like zippity zero dollars. Your girlfriend right. will, will love that if you guys are just hanging outside of the baseball game as it starts. Well, my bar, my the bar I work at, and where we're gonna go for. Hour on the weekends is literally right outside Nat Stadium. Whoa, dude! You work at a bar all the way at Nat Stadium? That's fucking far from your house. Yeah, dude. John, why? I just work at the old Brogue, dude. Yeah, because I would fucking kill myself if yeah, I saw that many people from high school. Don't work at the Brogue, but just work at like some uh, bar in like Loudon or like out west of where you live. Well, my thing is, is like if I do that, like the, the what I really did this bar thing for is that. I, whenever people go out to DC now, which I hate to do because I hate spending money. Yeah. And I hate. It's so like, not worth it. It's so yeah, fucking dumb. Like, and like, you never, it's, <laughs> like, it's not you're going to go out and get laid. Like, I hate you if you like going out to DC. Yeah. That's how, yeah. No, dude. I mean, I, I honestly, I feel that and I understand that it's so expensive. It makes me feel ugly as hell because all the girls are so hot. And it fucking, it's like, I don't know. It does nothing for my self-esteem. I just end up spending like $250 in one night because I'm trying to like keep up with all my friends who act like they're having a good time. Uh I don't like doing that. Mm -hmm. But if I work at this bar, I get 50% off my bar tab. It's pretty good. It's a nice bar that has um, happy hour prices from four to seven. And then again at 10 till close. Whoa, that's cool. So, like, I get 50% off happy hour prices. That's and, like, really that is cool. And, and it's, and it's a so nice usually, bar. Usually go before and, like, you work. There's other then, bars huh? in the area. And if I can convince people, like, hey, let's go to Navy, like, that area. Navy Yard. Instead yeah. of, like, fucking Adams Morgan, because Adams Morgan's played out. Mm. Like, Adams Morgan's greasy and it's gross, it's dried uh, up. No, I mean, there's loads of fucking 18 year olds with fake IDs that want to name to Megan go to the fucking shenanigans because they're Irish <laughs> and they have an open bar from eight to ten or whatever. And they get so drunk that they puke on themselves by the end of the night. They've got like, an open bar. Yeah, it's a ten dollar cover. But That's it's a great but it's, deal. But it's a trick. It's a trick, Jacob. Well, how is it a trick? Sounds like sounds because awesome. you have to be there at eight. 
or like from eight to I think it's like eight to nine or something like that for the hour. And you uh-huh. get so disgustingly like if you're if you are out at that bar at eight, you're not you're going home by twelve at the latest. At the latest. Good. Get a good night's sleep. Yeah. Well, I mean, no, but that's whack. Like if I'm going out to DC, I want to be out till two AM and I want to be hung over. God, I hate that. I hate that so much, dude. <laughs> Well, I mean, my thing is, is like, if we're doing it, we're we're going. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I get wanna... what you're, I get what you're saying, but I just don't agree. <laughs> I mean, but but then like, but but then it's like, why go to DC at all if you're Correct. not doing that? Why go to DC at all? No, and and that's and that's where I agree. Okay, like yeah. so, I agree on that part was where I'm just like, fuck going to DC. I like it. It takes a fucking army to get me out there mm-hmm. because I'm so anti doing it. Because I'm like, guys, if I want it, like, I can spend thirty dollars on a nice bottle of, like, a good tasting, delicious bottle of whiskey, and we could hang out and have more fun and arguably a higher chance of getting laid. If right, we stay in our friend's apartment. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Of getting laid for sure. Yeah. Yeah, like and he, yeah, and house then, parties are just so. I just miss house parties. There was house the parties were really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's like, and I'm, and, and then everyone's like, no, like let's go out to the bars. Like I actually want to do something. And I'm like, well, that's not. It, you, you, yeah, you, you are doing, doing something. You're doing the exact same fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. You just stand there it, and drink. Yeah, spend more money. You're in an unfamiliar place. You're uncomfortable. It's, it's like loud sweaty. as fuck. Yeah, yeah. You crowd. can't talk to people. Fucking yeah. Chad, the douchebag, is being a fucking douche. Like you're just like shit. Hey, Cooper, this place sucks. I, I hate to break this to you, bud, but you're you're a little chatty. <laughs> okay, like, you you have too many muscles and you do too much CrossFit to not <laughs> fall into the Chad Chad category. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. There's get this, the point though. Yeah, but no, no. I mean, I I get exactly what you're saying. Like, and and it doesn't make when you are that person. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to fucking go out and go in DC and just spend an exuberant amount of money for a yeah, subpar. It's so experience. expensive. It's like how is it so expensive? It's like oh my god, so just the drinks are so much. Cuz people cuz people buy it. That's how it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it's what people work for, man. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, a lot of people too. Seriously. Yeah, yeah dude. People, I mean, and and like the, the, I think it's the craziest fucking thing in the world that people go out and drop a hundred dollars on a night and like not even on dinner. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like, oh, that's not even factoring fucking Ubers and metros and shit like that, which is a huge pain in the tit. Anyways, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, it's just all, it's all weird. It's all. Um, in my opinion, it's fucked. I don't like. I don't like doing it. I'm not a fan. Um, cool. but this bar makes it better. Yeah, and you maybe you like know people there too because you yeah, work there. Yeah, like I and I can sit and I can tell people like, hey, like let's go to this bar, and they're like, oh, we've never been. That's so much fun. It's in a nice area. We're not any at, at any point in time. We're not gonna get raped. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a plus. Like, yeah. stop being rude. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> have you guys have you guys heard Netflix's or Dave Chappelle's Netflix special? His new one? No. Yeah, he's no. like he makes like his joke about rape, and he's like, "Yeah, I told that joke at a club one time." And this girl stands up and starts crying, and she goes, "How dare you make fun of people being raped? I was raped." And he goes, "Listen, lady." It's not your fault that you got raped, and it's not my fault that you got raped. But see ya. <laughs> <laughs> but see ya. <laughs> and then she left the club. And it's like, yeah, all right. Yeah, okay, Dave Chappelle. I don't know if he really won that one. <laughs> no, I mean, see ya. It, but it's a funny. It's a well. I mean, that was the joke that he told, like at at the special. And people yeah. Were like, yeah. Oh my god, dude! There's so much outrage about that that they're like, like so many articles were literally like, Dave Chappelle doesn't need to punch down, like you can just skip the new Dave Chappelle special. And I was like, God damn, dude! Sounds yeah. like they're giving him a lot of publicity for his new special. Ugh. yeah, dude. What was You're that? Mike. <laughs> You're Mike. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it was like, so I, bad. I, I, un- I understood uh, what I said, what you said, but it sounded like you were underwater <laughs> and talking into a fan. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's quality right there. Yeah, yeah dude. I mean, it, like, and and, 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 and and here's the thing, Jacob. I will kick you from the call if you are calling from your fucking phone next week. We can't even hear you retort this argument because your headphones are so shitty. Twenty dollars on Amazon. <laughs> Why, dude, dude, dude? Let me tell you the problem. <laughs> the problem and, is and, that and when, when, and I, when I am saying to you, Jacob, computer, the mic is do what work. Cooper did and buy a fucking headset. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, they are, they are so cheap. Cooper worked at Deloitte for like a whole they year. And he's so fucking cheap. loaded. I don't know. I got these for class. How much was Cooper? My junior year. Um, See, he got them for class. I, I think they were like 20 bucks. And I was pissed because we only used them <laughs> once in class. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? I just spent $20 to use them once, you goddamn fuck. So, you know. <laughs> Jacob, okay. you, you got... Don't go to a concert this weekend or don't go rock climbing and then just take the twenty dollars that you would have spent mm. and go on Amazon Prime and buy a headset. Okay. okay. Oh John. my god. <laughs> but so only bad. if you send me the link for the headset I need to buy. So that way I don't have to <laughs> oh, <laughs> that way I don't have to do any <laughs> Jacob, here, why don't here, you I'll just do drive out Fine. to Best Buy? That's drive worse. out to Best Buy? I know it is. Is, is this better it's or It's actually worse? better. I mean, it's better because it's not coming in like you're talking through a jar of peanut butter, but it's worse in the sense that it sounds like you're far away. Can you speak for us, Jacob? Yeah, yeah. Let's get, really. Let's get, well. Okay. Yeah, no, this is no. This whatever. is better. I'm t- I, I think like it's it. good. I yeah, think yeah, it's no, good. This is good. I think it's significantly better than your other <laughs> mic. I think well, it's way better. But, no. but, but but the thing is, is like it's not the it's not the mic that's causing the problem with the peanut butter voice. It's the connection. Oh. Uh, it's mobile Discord. Mm, mobile. Mm. So mm, what I'm telling Discord. you right here, right now, Jacob, is you're going to need to use your computer. Okay. For the next one. For the next one. And you're uh, gonna use... He's not going <laughs> to do that. I mean, yeah. He, he's going he's gonna to call us in. He's going to be like, yeah, I'm in the shower right now. <laughs> Me and the boys are just trying to clean out our ears. <laughs> I'm on the train right now. <laughs> also, Jacob, can I get a picture of your uh, cauliflower ear for this episode? Sure, sure. We can yeah. throw that in there. Yeah, yeah, well, I'll make it the title card. And I, I, I'm, I'm, I have not uploaded the old episode. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I know I keep okay. saying I'm going to do it. But I actually, I've just had no free time. Really? I mean, yeah. 